Hey there everyone, welcome to our series Automate the Boring Stuff in Ansys Mechanical. In today's video, we will be looking at quantity. So quantity is something like uh, you want to enter weight, force or something. So there are two ways to do that. So I just wanted to cover that in a short video. Uh, if you just type quantity, you will see its, I, uh, its type is ANSYS Core Units Quantity. Uh, you don't have to access anything to enter a quantity so quantity just uh, you just have to type quantity the value and the unit of it so let's look at the first method to enter a quantity as of now i'm not assigning quantity to anything i will just show you how to um, enter a quantity so first way is something like this quantity parenthesis single quotation you just enter what is the value uh, of that measurement or anything and then the unit of it for example if it is meter uh, i mean if if it's, a, if it's a length then enter meter if it is uh, millimeter like meter square area you just enter mm if you have something like uh, newton uh, kg meter it's a torque or if you have something like newton meter you can enter like this if it's a length or just meter anything like that so this is one way of doing that it has its own advantage and the second way is just type quantity and then you open a bracket and then no quotation just write the unit then comma then single quote and then put unit so this is also one way so you see both are returning same thing uh, for area you can write millimeter millimeter and similarly mm, for example if it is like newton millimeter for a torque you just enter like this now uh, what are uh, its advantages suppose you have a length uh, uh, variable and its value is 50 it's just a value now you want to assign this length to these values how do you do that let's look at the easiest approach this one here uh, what i will do is instead of 50 i will just type length and then you will see it is taking 50 meter uh, in second method if i do this uh, in first method if i do the same thing instead of length if i just type length uh, you might get an error yeah see it's not taking so how do you do that in the first method what you do is you just remove this and there is in python there is something called as format string you put curly braces here and at the end you write dot format again open a bracket and then type length what happens is this length will get assigned here okay and then if you enter then you have 50 kg meter similarly uh, if you have just meter you can do like this so it will take suppose you have unit also in some variable unit in uh, it's like a string and you have like newton meter you have entered now you want to pass both the variables length and unit here how do you do that let's look at the first method here instead of this meter i will just put two curly braces and here length i will put unit okay so you will see it is taking same because it has two placeholders these curly braces are called as placeholders first placeholder belongs to first format second placeholder becomes belongs to second format so it is taking like this how do we do the same in second method mm, let me just replay this now you will see meter itself is a string so here it might get difficult so it yeah it's taking i'm sorry so what is happening is uh, let's check the type just to confirm that we are not doing anything wrong yeah it's correct so this is also one way so you just type length quant length and unit this is very easy method and the other way is this one this is bit lengthier but it has its own advantage so while use uh, while using you will get to know the use cases of code. let's check this using an example i will clear the screen let's create a remote point so to create a remote point we will go to model geometry and then add remote add point mass yeah uh, it will create a point mass let's assign it to 
some variable called as pm so we got this point mass so let's see pm dot mass it's selling 0 kg let's assign uh, it to uh, so we had this length and unit right yeah so let's assign this uh, pm dot mass is equal to quantity so here you got to know the unit right so it's coming around 0 and 5 kg we will copy the same we will paste it here instead of this i will just put 5 kg so you will see 5 kg is being applied here similarly uh, let's see if we can apply some other unit so instead of kg i will write some other unit let's see what are the things that are available gram uh, ton so let's do ton here and see if it is applied or not you see it became 5000 so that way you can uh, enter your unit as it is even for mass moment of inertia you will see uh, pm dot x uh, mass moment of inertia x so you will see how it is coming kg meter square m it's not continuous because it will become kg millimeter so to have meter square you need to give a space and meter so we will just copy this we don't have to worry too much mm. And then PM, uh, just enter. So you can see it's a get and set property. So you can and it takes and returns quantity. So for X, uh, we will just type quantity and then we will paste it. And it got a new line character added. We will do delete. So let's do kg and here millimeter, millimeter. Okay, so this is one way you see it automatically got converted to something like this so that's all for today guys have a good rest of your day and please do subscribe to my channel